can do is an electronic warfare laboratory that we can put in the air. And basically we can take our test and evaluation and training capability and now add an additional dimension to it. So we can put it in the air and then deploy this against um, ground-based or other airborne targets. Adlon Kapinar had a dream to strap this whole system on a fast jet for specifically training applications and we came up with this idea to package it in, in such a way that we can integrate it with different platforms quickly and efficiently. And that's how Inundu was born. Inundu is a Zulu word for moth. The main reason we chose the word Inundu for the pod is that uh, Taga moths uh, emit a clicking sound when a bird hones in on them. So they emit a sound to jam the bird's sonar signal. So the bird, when it comes to intercept, it actually misses because of the clicking sound, which is a natural example for jamming. Inundu is a vehicle to take our technology base forward, to take our test evaluation and training infrastructure forward, but also a vehicle to take our uh, effort to support industrial development uh, forward as well. It's really uh, a platform that allows us to achieve a number of our objectives, strategic objectives, by combining uh, them in a very unique way. The pod itself can mount on various aircraft. Um, that's already cleared for that kind of a payload. And what clearance by similarity means is that this pod has got the same weight, the same weight distribution and the same power requirements. So from the aircraft's perspective, it looks exactly like the, like the payload that it was based upon. We were tasked to, to get the pod into the air. We looked for a suitable platform and at the time we found a private partner. We flew it on the Hawker Hunter, um, which is a privately owned um, ex-warbird. Um, and that we flew last year in 2015. Following that, we, we were looking at um, clearing it on, on something that can make impact in the South African environment. And currently we have um, permission to clear it on the South African Air Force Hawk. In parallel, we also wanted to fly it on more platforms. So we approached Danel Aviation and we are flying it as we speak on the Cheetah C and the Cheetah D, which brings us to a total of, of three platforms already that it's cleared for. Being able to integrate a test platform, a test bed like uh, in Nundu uh, on an operational platform like the Cheetah aircraft that we have now integrated with is very important to allow us to move from the R&D environment in the technology development effort to the application environment and the product development environment in, in a fairly efficient way. And that's what the NUNU allows us to, to do. So the first system we flew on the Hawker Hunter was a proof of concept. It was very effective. And in the second system that we are flying now on the Cheetah, we've ruggedized the communication system because there's a communication system from the aircraft to the ground. We've also improved some of, the, some of the electronic warfare payloads just to make it more robust. And these are all based on lessons that we learned through the first flights. The next step is, is to in, incorporate the Ram Air Turbine into version 2. The envelope of this Ram Air Turbine, or the RAT as we call it, is designed to operate from 270 knots to 440. And that's a very wide range and the reason why we have that is that the envelope then can suit aircraft such as the Learjet, which is a business type jet, and its cruising speed right up to Mach 0.9, which is typically a fast jet such as a military jet, a Hawk or a Walker Hunter or a Cheetah. When it comes to stimulating industrial development uh, through increasing our exports, ensuring that our industry is equipped to be internationally competitive, requires us to establish a, a very high-tech uh, infrastructure. A CSR plays a very specific role, a very strong role, in uh, developing highly integrated, scalable, network-centric test evaluation capability. And in Nundu is a very important element of that. And by developing that nationally, it increases our industry's international competitiveness. I think it's just a very exciting next milestone that we have achieved. Uh, again, in a, in a surprisingly short time. The team has uh, grown their capability further and I think uh, the en enthusiasm is growing and the confidence that uh, we're eventually going to achieve the challenging targets we have set for ourselves in terms of developing a first of its kind uh, type of facility in, in the world.